1984, which is a book written by George Orwell in, in 1949. Uh, he talks about a world that is in perpetual war between uh, three sections of the world, which is basically Africa, <clears throat> East Asia, which is the Oriental countries, and uh, Russia. And the, the world is ruled by uh, the media, just whatever they tell the people is uh, what they believe. And I think this um, situation in the Middle East is uh, a manufactured event. Uh, the wealth of the world is changing. Uh, there's like, two or three groups that fight over owning everything on planet Earth, and this is... Uh, the latest way they're going to do it. Um, in 1975, there was a movie made called Three Days of the Condor, which was about someone in the CIA discovering there was a secret plan to start a war in the Middle East so it could be taken over. And uh, he tries to bring this up to his superiors, and everyone says, well, don't worry about it. It was not an actual thing we were going to implement, it was just a, an exercise, a, a what if. And the harder he pushes, the more uh, they try to eliminate him because apparently it was something they were going to do. And I've been in this um, conspiracy business for the last three years and other people longer than that, six years, ten years, thirty years. And uh, the rumor has been that uh, there's going to be a war started in the Middle East, that they, in quotation marks, are trying to get a war started in the Middle East. And uh, it looks like it's going to happen, and why I'm, I'm making this video is please don't get sucked into that, because this is a manufactured event. The, uh, they have been using the uh, Muslims against the Christians for about 1400 years and uh, this during the pot again we in the west in North America who were born here in the last 60 years or so <clears throat> don't know that because we're, uh, we don't have a history of the jihad coming to our country but the, uh, the Greeks do, the Romans do, the French do, the Spanish do and the uh, Middle European countries do, and Russia, India, there's been uh, the same kind of horrific massacre of Christians going on for about 1400 years. So they're doing it again, and it's uh, It will have some point where it will be over, when, whenever the change that they're trying to elicit happens. Like after World War I, things calmed down, and there was the Second World War, things calmed down, then there was the Vietnam War, and things calmed down. And there will be this thing, and things will calm down. So uh, it's very saddening and actually sickening to me. I've been watching the media for a couple of weeks, and now from... 6 a.m. in the morning till 1 at night, all you see is uh, Islamic stuff. Terrorism, people's opinions on it. This is the 1984. The media is uh, telling us how to feel about this. And uh, David Icke's always talking about problem, reaction, solution. Well, this problem is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. Nobody's done anything about it, and they're pumping the media. It's horrible. It's worse. It's worse. It's coming your way. And just this morning, uh, President Obama was very calmly having a conversation about, well, we may escalate a little and do a little something. And, and uh, well, this is the problem, reaction, and solution. People go, well, what are you going to do, guys, going to do about this? The U.S.-led coalition, Britain said, get in here and, and the U.S. and France and do something about this. Um, I saw a video which I've got on my uh, one of my playlists 
by a man whose job it is to know what's happening over there for the U.S. government. He said this is crime on a scale that we've never seen. It's a private enterprise army stealing territory and uh, factories and people. And that historically is the, is the way empires are always done. They attack the populace, enslave the men, and uh, rape the women, and they force the men to join their army under the threat of killing their wives and children. So the army grows, the territory grows, they capture weapons. This is a uh, 5,000 year old style of doing things, and they're using it. This is another uh, historical uh, fact. I have a video somewhere about this, which is if you tell a populace everything, you can control them with reason, and that would be the people in the West. If you tell the population nothing, you can control them with violence, and that would be the people in the Middle East who are doing this. And uh, the formula works if you put them into a clash because we want them to be reasonable and they can't be reasonable because of a lifetime of indoctrination. So then it becomes, well, we have to do something about this and uh, the something is always violence. And it's worked. I've been working for the last 5,000 years. And I would uh, warn you and encourage you, don't get involved. Because it's a dirty trick. It's presented as a worldwide disaster, but what it really is, is war over the resources for planet Earth. And uh, there's also the... Uh, plan for the mass genocide of most of the people on the planet. Uh, which is what the chemtrails are supposedly about. So uh, the Chinese curse is may you live in interesting times. Well these, these will be interesting times. These are the interesting times. Uh, might last till uh, 2035 to the information I have. There are some other uh, interesting uh, historical facts that people in the West need to know that we're not told. Um, there was a caliphate for in northern Africa along the Barbary Coast. For 400 years they were pulling the slaves out of Europe. And that was ended by Teddy Roosevelt not that long ago. But they will remember that the Americans came and destroyed the Caliphate, and they don't forget these kinds of historical events. There was also a Caliphate in Africa, and uh, I think the, the British or the French, I can't remember, who went in there and destroyed that and said no more, and, and destroyed all their churches and slaughtered people just like ISIS is doing now. Uh, they won't forget that, the Islamic uh, People will not forget that. So people uh, driving naively around in the West in their SUVs who don't understand why they would be targeted um, don't know there is a, an historical involvement. Um, Britain uh, created Iraq out of three countries that were very small to make it easier to administrate and to steal the oil and now what's happening now is those three little countries uh, want to separate back to what they were and when we have the the Sunnis and the uh, the other two groups there's been a lot of interference in that area by empires in quotation marks but what empires don't Realize, and they were warned, and the U.S. was warned. The U.S. is only a 200-year-old country, and they were warned by people who are in countries that have been 5,000 years old that you guys may carry a big stick, but you don't really get what's going on with us and the world. Uh, you don't see uh, 
Greece and Italy and France and Germany, Russia, or India, Afghanistan lining up to fight ISIS because historically they've been in uh, over 700 battles with Islam <laughs> and historically they lost. Uh, this is not taught in schools, but uh, it's true. Other uh, crusades, which you would think from what they told us in school, was uh, England and France sweeping down with Catholicism to wipe out the uh, Islamic butchery and free Jerusalem. But actually all they did was free Jerusalem and a little bit of territory around there. There was us. It was not the end of the Islamic Empire. Well, if you want to know uh, the history of these two religions, there's a book by Richard Bramley called The Gods of Eden, which explains the difference between the religion started by Yeshua of Nazareth and the second part of the Islamic religion started by Muhammad. This book's not widely known. This man uh, started... Uh, researching the history of war, trying to find out why there is war, and he found out the wars are being intentionally caused, so he changed his focus to finding out who is causing these wars, and it was two large groups. It was them, they, the new, the old world order, uh, out of Egypt. One of my teachers told me uh, not to get involved in anything. If you're not going to do anything about it, then just don't worry about it because you're not going to do anything about it. So why waste time and energy on it? Uh, so uh, don't get sucked into uh, putting on a uniform and going over there to do something about this. Uh, one of these main power groups is... Uh, out of Egypt uh, under Ra. Ra was kicked out of Egypt by someone who took the planet over. This is probably the other group. Um, what came out of that is uh, the family of Ra and the loyal soldiers of Ra were divided into two groups and the money was split between the Ra Ka Fel, which Fel means fellowship family, and the Ra Ka Shields, which is the army so that's the Rockefeller and the Rothschilds are uh, descendants of Ra's group and uh, have a lot of influence on the planet. Also, you can look around for anything that starts with Ka, which, which is means of or loyal to Ra, Ka, Fel. Uh, Canada, Kansas, Canary Islands. If you take a map and look at it, you'll be really shocked to find out how many things have the K sound in them. That's a secret code part of the uh, that group. Uh, there's something you can look for uh, on the media. These people have a color that they use to let other people know that they're in the game. And it's approximately this color. You'll see David Cameron and other people. Everyone now has these funny, odd, dark purple ties. I don't exactly have one like that but they're in this dark purple range and you now see them everywhere which means I'm playing the game uh, traitors basically so that'd be fine if you watch the news you'll see the newscasters all wearing these and political figures telling you how they're going to save your world <laughs> and they're laughing at you behind your back because they're with the group that wants to take our freedom away. I did say in an earlier video of mine that uh, every time the public comes close to finding out that the governments don't actually have the right to do what they're doing and taxing us and telling us what to do, they start a war because uh, 
the percentage of people who have figured out what's going on is, is minuscule. It might be uh, one ten thousandth of the top one percent of humanity have figured out. We're caught in a cruel game, and uh, the rest of the people don't want to hear it. And uh, I think that's what they're really afraid of. They might lose control of uh, of us. The uh, criminal psychology is can't work, must have. So they steal. And uh, I talked to my bank manager, and she said the only two people that have money are either in people who receive inheritances or stock market windfalls. No one has money from hard work. So if someone has money from not hard uh, from not the stock market and our inheritance, they probably stole it in one fashion or another. And uh, our overview has become big enough that we see we could have an ethical planet. And maybe 80% of us would say, yes, we do want that. And 20% of us are under the control of the psychopaths who are sitting at the top of the pile. And the person who has the technology on that is uh, in Ireland. He's written a book called uh, Labyrinth of the Psychopath. And Peter Ospensky, a hundred years ago, said it's very odd that only in humanity do you find the psychopathic forms being dominant over the normal forms. Uh, Thomas Sheridan, that's the name of the man. He's a brilliant researcher and very down to earth, down home. He's the first person who said this is the problem. Even the Scientologists couldn't figure this out. They're, they call them suppressive persons, but uh, they say they can't be cured. But for right now, they need to be exposed that this is a phenomenon that does exist. They exist in governments, churches, big business, possibly your marriage, the bad teacher you had at school, the insane uh, people. This bullying is uh, psychopaths getting together in school and practicing because they realize they don't fit in. They meet a few others of the same ilk, and they start working on how to uh, become dominant over us because they, they're upset because they're out of the main group because they don't have empathy or emotions. And uh, they have a lot of drive and intelligence, most of them, so it's quite easy for them to cut a swath through normal people because normal people are not aware that they're there. They just think this is a one out of this guy's a jerk. They don't realize he's, a, they're calling it a subspecies of humanity. We don't know if it's nature or nurture, but the first stage would be for the public at large to become aware of them. Um, for example, we now have the uh, child uh, pedophile registry. We never had that before. We have Amber Alerts. We never had that before. Uh, we have the serious offender registry. If, you, if you're a serious offender and you move into a neighborhood, you're on the internet. This man is now living in your neighborhood. We never had that before. We never had 911 before. Only the British had that, and everyone thought, oh, gee, nice to have that. Now, now call 911. <laughs> Worldwide. So it's possible to change the world for the better. And uh, this thing in the Middle East is being done by the the big league psychopaths. They don't mind trammeling on the world and your freedom. For more money and more fun. So uh, I guess I think it's going to happen. I've been trying to warn people for the last three years about this and 
people like uh, Terry Cassidy and all those people. Uh, Jordan Maxwell has been doing this for 50 years. <laughs> and he's quite uh, disappointed that no one listened to him. He's been telling the truth about this for 50 years. So, uh, no takers except a few people in the conspiracy business. They keep uh, burning his records and <laughs> stealing his stuff, but he keeps on going. So I tried, uh, tried to warn you, tried to tell everybody uh, aspects of this coming, and now it's here, and now it's going to escalate, and uh, don't get sucked into fear, anger, hatred. Work on your uh, esoteric beingness, because you can do more with your mind. Blanket statement. You can do more about this with your mind than you can with... Uh, physical action and if you are upset and worried about it you can't use your mental powers so think globally and work locally